you two are are very much devotees of of the pilot wave theory. What are the best criticisms that preclude very smart people like Barry or or Sean or or David from jumping ship and joining you two? <laughs> well, what that now we're into psycho psycho psychotherapy. Were their favorite versions of quantum mechanics? I I don't think I've asked them. Because I I don't I'm not sure Barry or David would would say that they prefer one any one thing over. Uh, they both are fans I think of Bowie mechanics in one version or another and of spontaneous collapse theories. Neither of them like many worlds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and uh, again, I I mean, there was a time. I'm not sure if he's still doing it to tell you the truth. But there was a time when David, for for the reasons I gave you, thought, "Gosh, I've got probabilities coming up in statistical mechanics. I have probabilities coming up in quantum mechanics. If I go with a collapse theory where you have these probabilities built in at the fundamental level of the dynamics in these collapses, then I only need to bring in probability once." Okay, I mean that—that that was an argument at least he used to make twenty, thirty years ago, and and I sort of I can see some appeal to that. I myself feel like I understand statistical explanation and what goes on in statistical mechanics in a way that doesn't require a probability measure that requires notions of what are called typicality. Shell, I learned again a lot of this stuff from Shelley, so I don't feel like I even want a single notion of probability to take care of both quantum mechanics and statistical mechanics. I think that there's a a way of understanding the nature of statistical explanation where you'll get confused if you think you need a probability measure for that. Um, but the, you know, that, that, that's a consideration. Um, but I don't know. They would have to explain why they don't like it. I I I I I feel uncomfortable trying to explain why they don't like it. Sure. I I well one. I, I think I agree with you, David. Uh, David mentions GRW a lot. I think it came up when we talked last week. So I I have the sense that that's his preferred yeah, theory. To ask him whether he re- whether it's something something he's been working on a lot and, and or whether he, whether it's genuinely preferred. I, it's not clear to me. What mm-hmm. I, I I was just using them sort of as placeholders since they're familiar names, but I meant just more generally, the criticism of David Deutsch aside, are there any issue glaring issues with Bohmian mechanics or perceived I glaring think, issues? Look, the kind of thing that, that, that David Wallace will say is, well, but there's no Bohmian theory, Bohmian quantum field theory yet, or whatever. And, I mean, it's true. It's also true that standard quantum field theory, not even Everettian, is, you know, a mathematical mess. It has all kinds of issues. It's not like it's some pristine, clean theory that you understand. I mean, there seems to be a lot of double standards here. What can I say? There, there are people who will, you know, you know, they'll they'll point out whatever it is, the moat in your eye and miss the beam in theirs. I mean, there, there are a lot of these criticisms that don't stand up if you just apply them both directions. I think the rhetoric, some of the rhetoric annoys me. You know, Wallace's, David Wallace will say, oh, um, you know, we should believe in many worlds because the sky is blue. And that's just silly. I mean, does he I, actually he, say that? Yes, yes, he has, he has a paper given talks with exactly that title. What's and the, the motivation? Idea, well, the blueness of the sky is explained by quantum field theory, but there is no quantum field, Bohmian quantum field theory. But there's no Everettian. I mean, nobody's ever done anything from beginning to end using Everett, ever. The Everett, it, I mean, there's this rhetoric as if what's done in standard physics is Everett. It isn't. What's done in standard physics is incoherent. Right. It's the it's the air of Copenhagen. It's incoherent. It has collapses. It has these measurement postulates. It has these algebra of observables, all the stuff that that everybody's trying to get rid of because it, it doesn't look fundamental. Ever, Everettians want to get rid of it, too. 
the idea that 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 what has been done in physics is Everett is just not correct. Um, so that that rhetoric and and Deutsch's rhetoric, it, as if they can't understand that the configuration is not a structuralist point, right? The configuration has a heck of a lot of structure. <laughs> And, and they say things like, oh, the only point of the configuration, let me just say one last thing. They, they say, oh, the only point of having a single configuration like in Bohm is to indicate a branch of the wave function. It's like a pointer. It says, oh, this branch, and then you analyze the branch to figure out what the world is like. And that's just such a complete and total misunderstanding of the theory that I, it, it, it's hard to understand. And here's an easy way to see it. Suppose I have a meter with a pointer on it, right? If you only have the pointer and not the gauge, the pointer pointing one way or another doesn't mean anything, right? And if you only have the gauge without the pointer, the gauge by itself doesn't mean anything, right? You only, you only get significance by having the pointer pointing somewhere on the gauge. But if you just give me the single particle configuration at a certain time in Bohmian mechanics, say you're going to do a kind of Schrodinger cat thing or do Einstein's where either a keg of gunpowder is going to explode or not. And you just give me the configuration after the end of the experiment. You don't tell me the wave function. You give me no information about the wave function. So the configuration isn't pointing to a branch on the wave function. You just give me the configuration. I'll tell you whether that keg of gunpowder exploded or not. As I said, because if it did, the configuration will be a bunch of particles spread out all over everywhere. And if it didn't explode, it'll be a bunch of particles all packed together in the same location. That's not a pointer. I mean, they, they're so much think that all the work is done by the wave function that they just can't understand that in this theory, it's not. And I... I mean, maybe they don't like the theory, okay, but you shouldn't misrepresent it. That's what annoys me. There are some of these criticisms that are so far from being accurate that I can't understand why they're even repeated anymore, except for pure rhetorical purposes, which, you know, that's that's not the right way to proceed. Right? And it's not to think there are versions of Bohmian mechanics Bohmian versions of quantum field theory. None of them are definitive. There are a variety of different versions. None of them, none of them definitive in the sense that quantum field theory is not definitive. There are problems which remain. And, but and and it's hard to it's hard to see what what which step for a Bohm, which, which direction for a Bohmian quantum field theory is the right direction. But the surprising thing. The lesson one should have learned is not that, oh, the fundamental ontology of the theory must be a bar particle ontology. What one should have learned from the Bohmian, from Bohmian mechanics and non-relativistic quantum mechanics is actually how, contrary to what everybody was saying, how easy it is in the case of non-relativistic quantum mechanics to add to the wave function actually something pretty obvious which will do the job and get rid of all the conceptual muddle. Now, that it should be so easy in the case of quantum field theory is not something one should expect. That it should be possible, that it better be possible, otherwise there's, I don't believe the, that quantum field theory can be made sense of physics. There has to be more than the way a function. And if you ask, well, why hasn't somebody found something definitive? The answer is very simple. Not enough people are trying. You want, what you should ask, how do I incorporate the mathematical structure that you have with quantum field theory into a larger picture which has coherent, well-defined local beables to, which produces a satisfying whole? That's the question. People, very few people are actually working on that in a heart. <laughs>